Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we get two nanometers AMD at Computex. The 3080 Ti is already on sale. The first 12th gen Intel CPU and Intel's first discrete gaming GPU is officially incoming. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, IBM has officially announced the world's first two nanometer process. According to the company, this new node, which is based on their nanosheet technology, can fit a whopping 50 billion transistors on a chip the size of a fingernail. Not only that, but it's projected to get 45% higher performance or 75% lower power draw when compared to current 7 nanometer chips on the market right now. Ultimately, IBM has a ton of really interesting tech in their new process, but they aren't expected to reach partner foundries until late 2024. With that said, remember that Intel recently stated that they are partnering with IBM to focus on next-gen logic and packaging technologies. So maybe that will pay off. Let's just hope we'll actually get to buy something come 2024. And while you wait for GPU stock, why not play a PC game that's gorgeous but doesn't require high specs with today's sponsor, World of Warships, the free-to-play online PC game that lets you captain your very own warship. And speaking of, there's over 400 historically accurate warships that you control across living landscapes with weather-changing patterns and gorgeous graphics. Plus, with four different warship types, from the slow yet powerful battleships to the easily maneuverable destroyers, World of Warships has it all. So what are you waiting for? Download World of Warships using the first link in the description. And when you use the code BOOM, you'll get 200 free doubloons, 2 premium ships, 20 restless fire camouflage, 2.5 million credits in 7 days of their premium account. So check that out in the description below. Next up for today, Computex 2021 is coming May 31st. And with that, we just found out that AMD CEO Lisa Su will be presenting a keynote at the event. Now, what's really interesting about this is the wording in the announcement. Down here, you can see that it says, quote, at the Computex AMD CEO keynote, Dr. Lisa Su will share the AMD vision for the future of computing, including details of the growing adoption of the AMD high performance computing and graphics solutions built for PC enthusiasts and gamers. Yep, it's that last part that's really interesting. As for what we can expect from that, I guess AMD possibly plans to announce Threadripper along with updated roadmaps in regard to the vision of the future part. Of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for updates on that when they get announced. Next up, it looks like Nvidia's RTX 3080 Ti is already on sale. For those who haven't been following the channel, a recent leak from multiple sources claimed that Nvidia had postponed their 3080 Ti launch until next month, with the announcement on the 31st of May. Well, apparently some retailers didn't get the memo, as a new post from Reddit claims that the 3080 Ti has already been spotted for sale at a store in the UAE. And when we check out the image they shared, it definitely looks to be the case. As you can see, it's an MSI Suprem X 3080 Ti. Now, what's even more wild than the card going on sale a month early is that it's being sold for roughly 3500 US dollars. Yeah. Obviously, that's a premium for getting your hands on it before anyone else, but also remember that drivers aren't even out for it, so don't expect it to work properly, if at all. Next up for today, the first 12th gen CPU has finally been leaked. The story originally comes from Igor's lab, where he shared the specs of an engineering sample internally called the Intel Core 1800. Now, given this is an engineering sample, the final clocks will likely be better, but it gives us a really good idea of where Intel plans to go with their Alder Lake chips. Remember that these are based on the Big Dot Little design philosophy originally made by ARM. Anyway, let's get to the specs. As you can see, this is for a 16-core, 24-thread CPU, which should be Intel's flagship part. And the reason it's 24 threads instead of 32 is because the little cores don't have hyper-threading. You can see down here that there's 8 atom cores and only 8 logical atom cores, while the main cores get 16 logical cores. Moving on, we can see that the part is a TDP of 125 watts and a maximum power limit of 228 watts. It's also on the LGA 1700 socket, but we've known that for a little while. Next, while not on this sheet, Igor's lab mentioned that these should support both DDR5 and PCI Express Gen 5, so there's definitely a lot of cool tech that these will support. 
With that said, only the higher end Z690 boards will support DDR5, while the lower end boards will still use DDR4. Finally, we have to talk clocks. This sample gets a base clock of 1800 MHz, but the interesting part is its boost clocks. As you can see here, the big cores get up to 4.6 GHz with 1 to 2 cores and upwards of 4 GHz with all 8. Then the little cores get up to 3.4 GHz on 1 to 4 cores and 3 GHz with 5 to 8. Ultimately, I will say that this actually isn't bad, especially given it's a fairly early sample. And even if we get a slight regression in clocks on the big cores, there's a whole lot more when you include the little cores. And the clocks there really aren't that bad. Really, I think it will all boil down to price, and whether AMD decides to wait on releasing Zen 4 or not. Time, as always, will tell. And lastly for today, we have a huge story from Intel themselves. In a tweet by the company's own game developer relations engineer, Pete Brubaker showed us this. As you can see, it's a job application for a senior game dev relationship engineer. But the sweet part isn't the application. In his tweet, he states, quote, DG2 is right around the corner. It's about to get exciting. For those who don't know, DG2 is the code name for one or more of Intel's upcoming high-performance discrete gaming GPUs. And remember that these are the ones that include full hardware ray tracing support and everything. Basically, Intel's finally gearing up to release their first serious gaming GPUs. And hey, maybe we'll actually get a chance to buy one. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's upcoming discrete GPUs? Do you think you'll actually be able to purchase one or what? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.